Hi, I'm Chris. I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2004 Winnebago Brave 36M. So this is a Class A coach with two slide outs. So I'll just uh, take a walk around it with you, show you what it's got. So this motorhome is on a workhorse chassis. It's got an 8.1 liter Chevy engine. So it's a it's an engine you can't find new. I know it's very desirable. A lot of people are looking for it used. Um, overall, it's a nice clean coach. There's a few condition issues um, up front. There's a crack, pretty good sized crack in this windshield on this side. And then there's a little chip uh, about three quarters of the way up on this side of the windshield. Other than that, the front cap looks good. Uh, Winnebago is really known for building a very safe coach. This would all be a steel structure versus just a fiberglass cap that a lot of manufacturers would do. Um, I mean, looking at used coaches, from my experience, the Winnebago product just seems to hold up better over time in form and in function. Very reliable systems on the slide outs and the jacks and the roof material. Um, six brand new Bridgestone tires. So they're, I believe, the 22nd week of 2016. So they were very recently uh, replaced. So that should save you some money. Got a power step here. Um, there's some kind of cracks and paint chips. Um, kind of all down in the step area. Big storage compartment here and that will actually pass all the way through the motorhome. All right, so your water pumps in here. This is a, a, a hose for easy winterization. So and you can see all the holding tanks are actually up and raised. Um, and they're actually specifically made for the coach versus kind of a one-size-fits-all where other manufacturers would just jam it in. Um, we didn't have the awning out, but it does look like it's in good shape. Overall, sidewalls look really good. Two great things right there. All right, so back here you do have a backup camera, roof ladder again to the fiberglass roof, which is a barreled roof. Um, a hitch for 5,000 pounds, you're already set up with the wiring. Um, so this should be a great motorhome for towing. Big engine, uh, longer wheelbase, should tow great. All right, 5,500 Onan generator. Here's your power cords back here. All right. Your waste systems, your black and gray tank valves. Um, you do have an outside shower on here and even a black tank flush, which is a pretty cool thing to have for this era of coach. All right, so great mechanism on these slides. We've seen these Winnebago's. Um, these slides just hold up extremely, extremely well, even much better than modern slides, <laughs> actually. Um, Winnebago would build the storage compartments in with the slides, so just additional storage. You don't have to bend over to get to your storage compartments or actually don't have to bend underneath a slide out room. All right. Do have a driver's door and this actually has a power window in there. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. Uh, some little scratches in here. So you know, scratches here and there throughout the coach, but overall it should be a nice clean unit. All right. All right, so I'll start up front. Um, seats have kind of small tears on them. So there's one right here on the passenger seat and then a little bit on the driver's seat. But overall, this dash is really nice and clean. You have a slide out tray here. You, both these chairs will swivel, make part of the action. You do have a backup camera on here, radio. Um, we were not able to get the dash air to cool. It would turn on, but we could not get that to cool. So something to be aware of. You do have hydraulic leveling jacks over here, and one of your slide controls is here, and you do have a brake control, although we have not tested that. All right, so big swivel chair here. Nice couch, and this is actually an electric couch, so very cool. You can electrically make it into a bed. Um, the floor on this motorhome looks like it has been replaced, and um, as you can see, there are some uh, scratches and dents from the slide out. So just something to be aware of, but I don't feel anywhere uh, where the floor is soft at all. And the other big thing on this motorhome, I looked all around it, I don't see any signs of leakage. And um, good thing with these padded roofs, they're usually really easy to detect if you do have a leak, but I did not see anything. Um, another thing to point out I forgot up front is just a new flat screen TV. 
instead of the old analog. Another great thing, so you have all the owner's manuals for this Winnebago, all divided up, and then you actually have the original window sticker from when it was built. So I can send anybody this, it shows all the options that are on this coach. All right, four person dinette. Um, countertops look pretty good. You do have a flip up extension here. Some sink covers. Sink looks nice and clean. All right, oven. Cooktop looks nice. Uh, this is a convection microwave, so that will bake as well as microwave. Fridge, or the freezer could use a little bit of a cleaning, but this is a nice uh, eight cubic foot fridge that'll work on gas or 110 volt electric. All right, nice pull out pantry. And then down here, you actually have an all in one washer and dryer unit. All right, so you do have a small solar charger on the roof. This is where you turn on your generator. There's a little bit shy of 1300 hours on it. Um, your water pump, you can test your tank levels over here um, and turn on your water heater. And here's your main thermostat for your air conditioners. All right, so side aisle to the bathroom. Uh, big mirror. Nice roomy shower. And you know, one thing too, this, this coach does have dual pane windows, which is very cool, but I did notice that this window ended up getting a little fogged up right across from the bathroom. All right, so another slide out in the bedroom, just gigantic wardrobe on the back wall. Um, again, another new flat screen TV. And then this is a, uh, the bed platform's made for a queen bed. It looks like the previous owner put in uh, maybe a full, so you could certainly switch that out if you wanted to or just use it. It's actually a pretty comfortable mattress. And you do have some added storage underneath. So. This coach has about 36,000 miles. We've driven it, it drives fantastic. Um, so this should just be a really good opportunity to get a used unit at a good price. So again, this is a 2004 Winnebago Brave 36M for sale at I-94 RV. And you can call me direct, I'm Chris, 815-985-1691. All right, so we're taking this Brave out for a spin. I'm gonna take the on-ramp to Interstate 94 and I'm just gonna give this baby full throttle. So I'm at 45. All right, I'm at 65 miles an hour. This coach goes nice and straight. It's got six brand new tires on it. It's just a very nice, smooth ride. Quiet up in the dash. So this should just be a great RV for somebody.